Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 28th, 2023. Well, my goodness, those bulls were running hard yesterday, completely reversing the day before. We took our eye off of the ball when it comes to the banking situation, and we just ignored it. And big tech moved the entire market higher. Then we had some earnings last night from Amazon and Intel, maybe tempering some of that sentiment just a little bit this morning. However, we have futures looking a little bit lower. So uh, banks are back in focus this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Hey, before we get started with the charts here this morning, let's, uh, I want to share with you guys um, something that you are all invited to. Today, we're going to be doing a special training event. We're all going to be joining um, Ed Carter over in the live trading alerts um, um, room today. Um, he has a... Um, a, a, a trading room um, you'll just you'll come to live trading alerts.com you'll go to live support um, you put in um, you know how you want to be identified in the room and that kind of thing there's no there's no password required to come into the room today you are all invited and we're going to have an all-day training as a matter of fact it begins at 7 30 um, East or Central Time this morning, 8.30 Eastern Time. Um, Ed's going to kick off with a review of the software. And then uh, we've got an all-day, Ed's planned an all-day um, training event where we're going to talk about um, different, different traders are going to talk about how they use LTA software to find the trades that they're looking for. Um, so we've got an all-day training event. As a matter of fact, yours truly, I'm going to be kind of uh, bringing up the, the tail here at the end of the trading day. So you could catch me this afternoon talking about credit spreads and how I use LTA to find credit spreads. So if you guys are um, interested, if you have the time, it's an all-day free event. We'd love to have you come over. Um, again, it's LiveTradingAlerts.com, and then you're just going to click into Live Support and just set up a, um, you know, a log into the trading room with your own um, uh, email and, and name, and um, then we're ready to go. And you can be there all day for some free training. Ask us anything. So um, let's take a look at these charts for today. Well, my goodness, um, what a move yesterday, um, Friday. Um, could bring some excitement uh, today as well. As you can see, popping up big time, we really recovered two very bearish days here in the market in the Dow, all in one move, and we recovered that support level in the Dow. Now, unfortunately, we didn't do anything else. We didn't really break this resistance here in the chart. So if the bulls continue to find inspiration today, then I would look for some resistance right in here or that bigger resistance right up here in the chart. Um, as you can see, that line I've got drawn up there. If the bears find inspiration today, well, let's look at this level right in here for a price support. And as you can see, we're down here this morning maybe testing that. And if they continue to push on down, well, then let's look at these lows here as a possibility of the next support. And why would that be the case? Well, Oh, got it. All of a sudden, we have, are bringing the banks back into focus, um, and there is conversation that FRC may need some kind of Fed or banking action by this weekend to save them. And there are other banks slipping hard this morning. So watch that closely. Uh, that could maybe change some of that sentiment out here in the market. And then if we take a look at our SPY, SPY, also 
big popping move, just unbelievable strength here in that. And you might even say euphoric um, price action here on the SPY. Pushing up in here, um, pressing into that resistance level, and if we can continue to find bullish um, action here today or inspiration, look for a retest up here into that resistance area of the chart that we've been talking about. So we're back here in that choppy range and you can see we're pulling back a little bit this morning. Um, if the bears find a little bit more inspiration on the day and we continue to push to the downside, maybe we can find a little bit of price support right in that price action right there. And if that were to fail, well, then right back down here to the lower side of that chop zone that we have been in for a while. If our QQQ can keep on going to the upside, well, there's that opportunity that we could pop out of here. As a matter of fact, when we got the Amazon earnings yesterday, we initially popped out in the aftermarket and then we retreated back down uh, later on in the afternoon but watch that closely that would be the resistance breakout point that could be substantial here in the nasdaq watch that closely we not only reversed but a full reversal just leaving a gap behind in that reversal and reclaiming that trend as well so let's watch that carefully if the bears were to find inspiration here today well maybe a press back down and we can test the low side of that candle and that little bit of price support that we've got in there and if they were to continue to push down then watch this area right here as that next area Area of price support. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX reversed yesterday in a big way, pushing all the way back down. And you can see we're right back down here in this zone where we chopped around for a week or so. Um, what was interesting is with the exuberance that we saw yesterday that we didn't make a new low here. So there may still be a little bit of nod to that concern of the regional banks and that is really increasing this morning so let's keep an eye on this we might see the vix pushing back up and we'll watch this area right here to see if it will hold for resistance one of the things we we don't want to see remember one of the patterns that would be bullish here for the vix which would be bearish for the market and that would be to hold a higher low so if we were to hold a higher low and then move on higher well, that starts raising a few questions and may increase that fear level here a bit in the market. I'm not saying that's going to occur, but it is something to pay attention to. And the fact that we're trading in such high multiples right now, we're like 19 times forward earnings is what the market is, is trading at. This is a very interesting situation that we find ourselves here in the market with such a mix in data so watch that carefully let's take a look at our uh, t2122 our t2122 if we look at this this thing zipped to the upside yesterday and we pushed past the 50 percent area in that recovery on that move so as we um, continue to see that bullishness here um, due to the tech reports let's see if we can continue to push that on up remember if the bulls can be ex in, um, inspired today well we still have plenty of upside room unfortunately what we've also done is and, and we did it all at once and that's one of the problems when we whip like this is that if that bearish sentiment comes back we could reverse that back down really fast as well so watch that closely you guys recall this over here where we whipped all the way up and then bang next day right back down now i'm not saying that's going to occur either but just kind of keep in mind t2122 doesn't tell us direction it just tell us tells us where those pressure points are in the market if we're overbought or oversold when we're around the middle point well, if that sentiment shifts, uh, it can move pretty quickly one direction or the other. Let's take a look at our T2108. And here is the interesting thing. With that big move yesterday, well, we didn't improve all that much in T2108. Yes, we did push back up. We went from um, the 30s up right back up into 40. Um, on that move, but isn't it interesting that it wasn't more pronounced than um, what we're seeing here? And what that means is 
we were pushing on very select stocks. There wasn't, there wasn't a lot in the market moving up a ton. It was just very select big tech stocks that were lifting the market all on their own. And that raises some questions here because now we're right in the middle of this support and resistance area. We have a support down in here on T2108. We have resistance up in here. And if those banking worries start coming back into the market, what will that mean for today? So watch that closely here. Good news is that they did push back up. Bad news is it may not have been enough to really change um, that overall direction. And then if we look at T2107, well, similar situation here on uh, T2107. Um, although we had that huge move to the upside, it barely moved T2107 to the upside. Um, we lifted off of this little bit of price support, which is good. Keeping in mind, we're still below quite a bit of resistance. You would have expected with the exuberance that we saw yesterday, more price move here, lifting more stocks above the 200 day. That just didn't happen. So with that banking worry creeping back up, let's keep a close eye on this. And then our T2101, well, T2101, interestingly enough, pushed up here and hooked. Um, now that would tell us that the breadth yesterday, uh, which seemed to be just phenomenal to the upside, maybe is showing us that momentum wasn't quite what we thought it was across the board in the market. It was in very select stocks. So we're going to have to watch this pretty closely as well. What we don't want to see is that momentum suddenly shift and bring in those bears. Can't say that that's going to happen, but let's watch carefully in case we, we may get just a little bit too excited yesterday, pushing all at once in one direction on just a few things. And then let's take a look at at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, well, we've got some big reports here this morning that could move the market. And particularly this first one, the highlight of the day is going to be personal incomes and outlays. We know that that is one of the Fed's favorite numbers. And we saw yesterday in that GDP a little bit of interesting price action in there um, where the where the number was really weak, but we saw personal consumption going way up. And that is a concern for the Fed. And if we see that personal PCE number move a little bit higher, that's going to be uh, one of those problem um, situations for uh, the Fed. As you can see, consensus is looking for declines here but it's that core PCE year over year. Notice it's barely falling. And there are some concerns out there that that core PCE number may actually go higher. And that would create some bearishness maybe in the market with everyone thinking that, holy cow, we're going to see more rate increases and that inflation is being stickier than we would like to see. Um, then we've got employment uh, costs. We've got Chicago PMI. Uh, by the way, uh, Chicago PMI is expected to stay very, very weak, showing the weakness of our economy and consumer sentiment and consensus suggests it's not going to change. It's not going to improve or decline. So, um, yeah, keeping a, a close eye on those reports this morning. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here today. In our earnings calendar, we have a, a lot less in the number of earnings here today to move us around. Um, big reports out there right now would be um, ExxonMobil, which is a, a reported this morning, moving just a little bit higher, and CVX also reporting this morning and not feeling a whole lot of enthusiasm here despite the fact they beat on the top and bottom line and are offering up a huge buyback so um, interesting to see that going on in the market we're also going to hear from uh, Bloomin' Brands looks like we got a little pop and drop going on there. Bloomin' Brands and an overall downtrend. We're going to hear from uh, Colgate Palmolive. Looks like Colgate's moving up this morning on its earnings report. We're going to hear from NWL. Keep an eye on that. A little bit of a bearish um, action here in the pre market on that today. We're going to hear from uh, CCJ, a little uranium. Little pop and drop going on in the pre market here on 
at CCJ. I'm not sure if the report's out yet, so watch that one close. We've got WPC um, going to report today, and we're going to hear from WT also uh, today. So keep an eye on that. Now, if you want to catch that full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog and you can catch that full list let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please also do me that favor click those thumbs up buttons leave brief comments that helps the channel to grow thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that and for those of you that are going through and actually clicking the thumbs up buttons and commenting on other folks's comments because it's the engagement with the video that makes the really big difference and thank you so much let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and let's keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security uh, as a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very 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 careful as we move forward. Well, one of the things that happened last night, Bank of Japan decided to leave their monetary policy the same. That made the uh, yen fall and oh my gosh, we've got a big pop in the US dollar here this morning, pushing up. So let's keep an eye on that with the US dollar surging to the upside this morning with that decision from uh, Japan. We're likely to see gold and silver falling today. Let's keep a close eye on that. We could also see this negatively impact oil and gas. So watch those areas closely. Food commodities could also uh, be negatively um, reactive to a strengthening dollar. So keep an eye on that. Then we're also want to, going to want to be taking a look at some of these other tech stocks that have not reported yet um, that um, saw some bullishness yesterday. We've got AMD coming in here on 5.2. Nice little bullish pop up yesterday, still in a downtrend. I would keep an eye on this. If this pops out over that downtrend and holds a higher low, and it may not do that until after earnings, I would watch for that next opportunity to the upside, just kind of like what we did right here. Exactly what we did right here. That's the trade I'm looking for if that can occur in AMD. You might also want to keep an eye on NVIDIA. Now, I personally believe NVIDIA is incredibly overbought, particularly on a PE ratio standpoint. But, hey, AI is the story of the day, and that's what is driving the NVIDIA with their AI chipset. So keep an eye on this. Um, with all of that bullishness in the tech sector, there's no reason to believe why we can't see NVIDIA continue to stretch on up heading in toward its earnings report. And there's some analysts out there that put a $350 target on it. So every reason to believe it certainly could go on higher. I would watch that close. Take a look at some of the healthcare and uh, drug maker type stocks. Take a look at Procter & Gamble. Um, as you can see, this has been uh, broke up um, through that resistance on its earnings report. A little resting, a little consolidating going on here. I would keep an eye on this uh, for that next upside move. If I connect up this trend, right in here you can see we may have to rest a few more days but then look for that potentially to move to the upside uh keep a close eye on that you know i had mentioned bmy the other day uh to watch bmy for a possible pop through and breakout we broke down and rallied back and i thought hey if it holds up here let's look for an upside move and it just collapsed all of a sudden. So let's keep an eye on BMY with this breakdown here. Any rally back toward this resistance level, I believe would set up an opportunity for a short. Uh, keep a close eye on that. And um, I'm gonna put PFE, Pfizer, in that same list. Pfizer was looking like, boy, it was ready to go. As a matter of fact, I put a price alert up here. Just never never followed through and there's that higher low that was a possible short anything um any rally or consolidation up into here um 
with a failure looks like a possible short could be um, on its way in Pfizer so watch that closely one of the things I think we should be keeping an eye on take a look at some of the um, ETFs on banking now the big banks seem to be doing well they seem to be getting the beneficiary of all of the outflow of the regional banks that being said uh, let's keep an eye on some of these for some downside moves XLF may have that opportunity to move down you could also look at KRE KRE is a regional bank ETF you can see this is not a, a happy chart and um, it looks like we have that opportunity of that rally back into resistance and that possible failure that could occur so watch that closely if those regionals continue to run into a problem um, and I think this is really going to press on the psyche of the market today because there is a bit of a concern um, out there if you look at um, USB USB obviously not in a good position here as a matter of fact um, there's quite a little uh, pressure here on this any rally back in here looks like it could set up more downside activity along that downtrend so I would watch that closely in US Bancorp not good situations going on here in some of these major banks let's um, so with that guys I'm running out of time so I want to wish you all a fantastic day of trading I want to wish you great profits and also want to wish you a fantastic weekend and remember if you can join us over there in the LTA trading room today we're going to be kicking that off here in about an hour so come on over we'd love to have you all day lots of training today to talk about lots of different price patterns lots of different potential setups so come on over it's free to join us we'll see you there everyone take care have an awesome one and I'll see you right back here bright and early morning